Hey, this is Dr. Munyon with Exotic Vet Care. Me and my assistant Phoebe are going to show you how to give intramuscular injections in a bird. And you may have to do this uh, to either give long acting antibiotics or an anti-inflammatory or even arthritis medications to your bird. And we'll go through the appropriate anatomy that we need for uh, knowing where to give the injection and then we'll restrain Phoebe and show you how to administer the injection itself. We're gonna go over some anatomy for giving intramuscular injections. And what we're looking at here is not modern art. It is the keel bone right here down the middle and the pectoral muscles or breast muscles attached on the side. So we're looking at the chicken straight on as if there weren't any skin or feathers over the muscle. And when we're going to give the injections, usually what we do is we feel the keel, which is usually pretty obvious. It's firm and prominent. And then you just step off to the side where the muscle is and give the injection there. When you're going into the muscle, you have to go through the skin. So this is kind of a side view where we have the chicken skin up here and the muscle down here. And chickens don't have much of what we call a subcutaneous space. So the, it, they don't have much room between their very thin skin and down to the muscle. So when you're giving an intramuscular injection, you don't have to go very far. You just have to get through the skin and inject into this muscle layer down here. Now that we know where we're going for our injection, we have Phoebe all caught up here and we're looking at her chest. You can see it right here. And this is her sternum bone here. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but I'm feeling it right now. And we step off to one side or the other to give her injection. And we want to make sure we're not going above her thoracic inlet or below the bottom of the keel. And so going towards the meteor part is best. And I have my injection already. This is a fake injection, but it's still gonna treat it like it's real. And go to the keel, step off to one side, pop in, and you don't have to go very far. Drop back on the syringe, make sure you're not getting air or blood. And once you know that, you go and you give your injection and pull forward. And there might be a little bit of bleeding at the area. That's perfectly normal. Just put a little bit of pressure on it.